Hi everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add and use the notes function within Mind Manager. So let's take a look. So first of all, what are notes? Well, pretty simply, they're a little bit of kind of second layer information that we can add to any mind map. We can add them to any topic and it's a really great way of adding a lot of extra information to our mind map without actually cluttering it up. So we can keep the surface level of our mind map just focused on keywords and short triggers, but we can be confident that we've got the depth of information we might need just beneath the surface. The map stays nice and manageable, but our map overall has got all the information we need right where we need it. So we can add these to any topic and they look a little bit like this. You'll see this little icon here in my manager. That's just telling us there is a note. So these ones here, no notes. This one here, we've got a little note. If I hover over it, it says, here is an example note containing lots of information. Now that's just telling me what's in there. If I wanted to go in and click, I can open up the notes panel, which will come out here normally on the right hand side, depending on how your, your software is set up. And again, here's the example note containing lots of information. I can add to it time and build out my document. So I can just close the note here and it sits over there and again right in the surface we've got just a couple of keywords but behind the surface we've got the note containing a lot of extra information. So how do you add notes and how do you use the notes? Well again relatively straightforward in my manager. Firstly in terms of adding notes we can do it through a number of different ways. The first is we can come up to the main menu. Now I have the main menu closed in my manager just because I like the extra space. But if we look at our main menu here and come home, you'll see that we've got just along here notes. So I can click that and it's going to open up the notes panel. And here I start adding my notes. So the main menu is pretty easy. Again, I just close that down. So you can get to the main menu either through the home bar or through the insert bar as you might expect. Again you can see there insert notes. If I pop that open it's just going to open up the one that I've already added. Going up to the main menu every time to, to add a note. I think notes is something I use all the time in my manager so you probably don't want to have to go up to the main menu every time. So a couple of quicker ways to do it. Right click and again you just see notes is down here so I can get there a bit faster. Again I can just close that down and my note icon just tells me there's the notes I want. The fastest way and the way I do this every day is a little shortcut on your keyboard which is control and the letter T. That immediately pops open that panel and you can get writing straight away. Similarly, when I want to close it, I'm just using the shortcuts. So I find this way particularly is, is sort of for me is the, the, the best way of, of getting this information into your map quickly and not interrupting your flow too much. Um, but again, these are options that are maybe a bit easier when you're just getting started. In terms of formatting, there's a number of different things we can do with a, a note in a mind map. It's not just plain text. Notes can contain a wealth of extra stuff, as it says here. And many of the options you've got are very similar to what you'd find in Microsoft Word or Google Docs. So you've got the options to do text formatting. So again, we can come in here, all these menus that are probably pretty familiar to you from other programs. Um, we can actually build out quite a rich document here and if you pop open this font option you know you've got all the different things you can do in terms of fonts and um, all these different options we can apply you've got the option to do things like bullet points numbered lists etc etc um, all just useful if you're kind of trying to represent information that needs to be in the note again we don't want all of this out in our mind map you've got the option to insert simple tables again using some of this function up here inserting a table how long how big you want it to be uh, that'll just insert that again be mindful of duplicating what you might have in other documents uh, you might just find it easier to link off to an existing spreadsheet rather than try and replicate it in the mind manager document but again useful for a quick couple of comparisons and that sort of stuff we can also add links into our notes so every piece of text we add we can actually copy that sorry just highlight that use the links and actually we can use this to link off to other documents or for example websites so we can put in a link there to biggerplate.com if I hit that that's going to try and open up the website biggerplate.com directly from within the notes and if you wanted to you could also be adding images so you might have little references photographs these sort of things that you just want to have to hand put them in the notes close the note down and that stays nice and clear all of that information is just beneath the surface, nice and easy for us to access, but it's not going to get in our way. If you want to edit the notes, you've already seen, I can just click to open the notes again. So we can click the icon 
and that opens up the notes panel we can start to edit or again you can use that control T to open and edit the notes so again control T closes it control T pops it back open again now you might find that actually you put a note in somewhere then you realize it should be somewhere else so if we want to move a note that's very easy to do as well we can move a note to a new topic so we've got a note here uh, and all we need to do is just click left click with our mouse and you can see I'm just moving the note here and I can land it there now what it actually does is sort of copies it across so you've kind of got the note now in both places which you may or may not want so let's say I wanted to have the note here and I want to remove it from here I can just right click on the note and say remove and that goes from there and again an interesting sort of little option we've got is to amend or replace a note so let's say we create a new note close that down if we've said actually we want this note to be on this topic alongside this stuff what we can do is again just click the note sorry click the topic then the note drag it across and you see we've already got an existing note there so there's a possibility we might have a, a problem so what are our options if we do that my manager is going to say do you want to append that to the notes do you want to add it to the existing notes or do you want to replace if we say append it to the existing notes you see we've now got both pieces in there replace is relatively self-explanatory one little feature that I quite like is the ability just within the notes panel to jump from one note to the next here is my latest note but actually up here you've got these little arrows and what this does is takes you to the previous or next topic and I find this quite useful if I've got a set of topics all of which have notes I can just go backwards and forwards between them and you'll see I'm just moving between these two topics both of which have notes and I can just jump backwards and forwards between them slightly hard to understand why you find that that useful in this setting but when you've got a lot of topics with a lot of notes to just cycle between them one by one as you're putting together a document could be quite handy how to remove well I've already shown you that we can just say right click and remove there we go so finally there's just a quick tip on notes that might help you or make you want to look into this a little bit further and that is a great function within my manager around exporting to word now you'll be able to find other tutorials about exporting your to word documents in, in more detail but the important thing is when you export a map to word in my manager you can ask the program to take all of these notes and wrap them into your my manager into your Microsoft Word document rather so let me just show you quickly how that will work but we're not going to go into too much depth so up here if I say file and export choose the Microsoft Word option now what I'm going to get is a little box that's going to give me some options I'm going to have to save it somewhere so let's just put that on my desktop we'll say save so it's going to give me some options here and I'm going to say right I, I think I don't want a numbering scheme for this document I'm going to indent until level 3 I uh, don't need all this stuff what I really do want to make sure is ticked is this box here that says export the topic notes so if I say export, what the program is going to do is within this little mind map that we've been using, it's just going to work its way around. And anytime it sees a note, it's also going to integrate that into the new Microsoft Word document. So all of our topics will act as sort of the headings and the notes will act as the sort of the body text within our document. So as my manager works its way around that map now, hopefully what we'll see in a second is a, a pretty good Word document that we can then start to build out. And all of those notes, because they're behind the surface, we've been able to organize the information in the mind map because it's been nice and easy to do, where all the depth and the extra information is in the notes. So if we open up this Word document, what we should see is a document that reflects our map and has all of those notes on in the body text. So here we go. Any minute now. There we go. So here's our my map converted into a Word document. You can see all of these example notes, all of the black small text here, that's what was in our, our notes. And again, here's all the, the thing where I was showing you formatting, where we added that table, the image. So all of that comes through into your exported Word document. So a little sort of tip there related to notes, but first and foremost, before you get into exporting, I would really recommend getting to grips with using notes within your My Manager maps to really build out that second layer of information and avoid you having to hunt around in lots of different places for those little bits of extra information that you want to have easily to hand. I hope that's been helpful for you. As always, for more mind mapping templates, tutorials, and training, pop across to biggerplate.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.